home on Fetzer Field, but about in 12 inches of snow hit the Chapel Hill area recently, so they moved it over to the turf field here at Navy Field. The Tar Heels in the home white, Denver in the crimson, and we are underway. Baptiste against Kelly at the X. Baptiste from Denver is a power guy. Kelly's about quickness. The call goes against Baptiste, so the Tar Heels will get the first possession. This is Luke Goldstock. The attack has simply been lights out. Said it, Quint, no help. Joe Bresci hammered it to us this week on our conference call that the key is take away hands and slide to their face. There was no slide whatsoever on that move. Well, the Carolina Shorties last season with Mark McNeil, Ryan Creighton, and Greg McBride, a strength of the team. This year, I think it's a weakness. Last week, you saw a Carolina defense that slid like crazy against Johns Hopkins. So after the extra man goal by Chafee, all tied at one. Baptiste moved early that time. So both Kelly and Baptiste have violated. New faceoff procedures universally loved by both players and coaches. Requires a little more patience now as the faceoff man is down in that crouch position for much longer. And Bill Tierney didn't pull any punches. He said they had him as a as a ball carrier behind the goal. He showed a lot of variety, but there's no better mid-range shooter in the college game than Wesley Berg. The assist from Zach Miller, 137 career goals now for Berg. That's a talk goal on defense, Amy. You got to call numbers, identify. There's Bitter looking to tie it up. So a critical faceoff here for Stephen Kelly to try to come up with it for the Tar Heels to work some time off the man down. Evan Connells is wingman to his right. And Kelly violates. So here comes a look at that Denver extra man unit. So now Denver with a three goal lead on the road. The Tar Heels on the ropes early here at home. Baptiste can't come up with it. Everyone's overrunning the ball, but now the Tar Heels come up with it. Tate Jazokis. And it's Kilpatrick. Carry in, eyes up, through pass. Great job by Kilpatrick to keep his heels. Machine. Last year he had seven assists on the entire year. Already this year he has eight assists. So I, I think he and Coach Metzbauer are seeing eye to eye in terms of how this offense can uh, maximize his abilities. His older brother, an All-American here at North Carolina, one of the most exciting attackmen you'll see play. Comes from a great lacrosse family. He's 38 and 19 last year for 57 as a rookie on a veteran-laden ball club. Face-off battle's been even, four piece. Some violations. It is power against speed, but a great check by Evan Connell on Reese keeps it alive. And so does Baptiste. And that's going to be last touched by Denver, so Carolina gets it back. Sankey ready to go quickly. Cool. Made 13 saves, gave up eight goals against Johns Hopkins. Trying to play himself back into shape. Don't get out of shape. Then you don't have to play yourself back into shape. That could be your motto when you own a gym, Clint. See Berg with two today, now 138 career goals. Face-off battle's been even. Can't find it, having trouble finding it, but picked up now by Carolina. Quite honestly, when I was reading their box scores early on in the year, Eamon, I said to myself, who is Klawinski? We never mentioned his name last year. Right on the scout team, didn't see any action in the games. As Joe Bresci said, we love to fall in love with rankings and All-Americans and All-Star games. Here's a guy who shows that you can already work. That play does not become a goal without his ground ball. And Carolina gets it back and a flat. So a free possession here as Jazokas took the slash. So Carolina can be patient. 55 seconds for the heels. We are tied at six with 11 and a half to go in the third. 
as advertised, number one against number four. Baptiste trying to make up for his penalty. Does not. Gets called for a hold. Quick restart. Kelly stays out there. Jazokas keeps it himself. Off the restart. Pick it up and go. Kilpatrick gets to a nice spot. Pace falls to the big stick fake, and he makes him pay. Telling us this week, Chad Tutton is a beast. And he has looked like it in the second half. No timeout from Denver. Kelly jumped. The Pioneers get a reprieve. On their heels, as told us last year, they're deer hunting. They sit in trees for hours. They're not taking a shot until they know it's a kill shot. They are waiting for a slam dunk. Kelly well, can't push it forward. Now he goes back and retreats and gets it. Stephen Kelly back. After a broken wrist last year in the Harvard game. Had an impressive freshman campaign going until that injury. Uh, he was a pinch and popper, a guy who loved to play with the ball in the back of his stick. Scored a goal against Princeton. That pass play. knocked down. And that's been taken out of his arsenal. So he has had to adjust like a lot of these Fogos. Tuck thought about jamming it to Goldstock. Decides otherwise. Play the substitution game. North Carolina six goals on 18 shots here in the third. Denver just four shots. But they'll get an opportunity here. With pace on the clear. Off the face off. Rim. He's farm strong. I mean, th this guy has been playing for Denver, it seems like, for the last 10 years. Highly, highly productive. He's been a starter since day one. Low maintenance, high production. And to me, he looks like a man out there this year after that world championship experience. You gotta take the body inside. Treat it like hockey. Old school hockey. Guy dances, tip throws through the tulips. Klonski had a hat trick against UMass. He has two this afternoon. Ball goes against Kelly. That was a great look at that face-off. Remember, a legal stick penalty for three minutes in the first half. Now here, a time-served penalty on the starting goalie. Capitalizing on opponent mistakes. A trait of a championship team. Look at that flag. So there was no such thing as a delay of game. It was unsportsmanlike conduct, and he said something wrong. And Carolina made him pet. He's back out there now, and Baptiste gets away with one. Trevor Baptiste would have been a long ride back to Denver if that pass got picked off by a target. It would be a big year for Canizero, who will be in the running for National Player of the Year if he continues to play at this pace. Huge faceoff here. Baptiste was dominant in the second half against Duke. Kelly digging in here. Baptiste pushes it forward. But Jazokas comes up with the GB for the heels. Nice fake. Huge, huge faceoff. 63 seconds left. Carolina up by two. And Baptiste wins it to himself. So now Denver, one timeout left. Canizero has been lethal here. Can't